Shiva is not a philosopher, he is a yogi. When I say he is not a philosopher, see it's very easy to be philosophical. In fact, the less you know, the more the chances that you will become philosophical. It's very easy to become a philosopher. You just have to read a couple of books and misunderstand them. You can become a philosopher. <laughs> the reason why you're talking about something that is written in a book is because you have not perceived, grasped life in any depth. If you had uh, even read a single page of this vast existence, all your life you would be talking only that. There wouldn't be time to talk about anything else. So Shiva is a yogi, purely existential, not philosophical, not intellectual. This is not something that you can understand. This is not something that you have to be convinced about. This is not something that you have to agree with. This is something that you learn to relate with. If you can relate to it and experiment with it, it will do miraculous things for you. <laughs> <laughs>